Raid Shadow Legends. If you thought this company could not surprise you, then you were dead wrong, my friend. You were definitely wrong. It's not a bad thing. I'm not really doing a rant video or complaining about the game. I do wish, of course, we're talking about the new event that just came out. I do wish, of course, this company was run by some other individual, whoever does the main sign-offs on everything in this game. Of course, you know, for the last year, I think we would have retained a lot more players than we actually have now. We have a good community. We have a growing community. I just hope those people stay, you know, and continue to play the game. I really do blame the most of it from the actual company and the lead person in charge for, for poorly managing the game. And, they, and it's a real true fact, right? We love this game. We want it to do well. We love the aesthetics of the game, but it has been severely poorly managed over the last year. And we've lost a lot of people, not just from regular drop off, but because of the poor management, the Foley fiasco, all the updates, any kind of revisions, the, the, the Sedalia revision we just had, you know, Tormin not being tested, everything not being tested, it just all adds up. I'm not going to do a complaint thing because we're all in the joyful spirit of Christmas, New Year, and it's not a bad thing really that's going on right now. They're trying to give us some free things. It would be much better if they just came out and gave us a shop so we could get some books throughout the week like all other games do then we would just be happy and if they did stuff like this it wouldn't matter as much but that's been the common common census with with everything that we do in this game that if the game was like a normal game and then did what they did it wouldn't be that bad that's pretty much what everybody has said about the game and again we have a new thing here for an event if you six star someone you're going to get 300 points but only 150 points are going to be counted per day. So just be mindful of that. That's mainly what I want you to take away from this video, to be on the lookout for that. And if you take 3,600 divided by 150, that is 24 days, which is exactly what you have. You have 24 days to do 150 and to get this sacred shard, or you can get the rest of these rewards. The only rewards that I think are actually good are this book and the shards. The rest of these are so small. I mean, that's like what is that what is that two refills not even two refills with these 60 and then we get a little bit of lightning the bruise don't matter the silver is not that much these artifacts don't matter at all especially the attack we only get one artifact and i really just wish they would take a note from the leading top games out there that have been out there for five years going strong making more money globally than raid shadow legends for sure you can count on that and we'll continue to make more money than raid shadow legends over the long term because they keep doing silly stuff like this where it's just slowly cutting us ever so slightly to where eventually we have a million cuts all over us and we're like, man, this this is just silly. But we're still here. The game has been lucky. Nothing else has come out really over the last year that has been amazing. We're still waiting for Diablo Immortal and we're still waiting for this company to get in line and know how to manage a turn-based gotcha game and do really well with it. So I'm hoping next year, you know, maybe they'll bring in somebody new. Maybe somebody will eventually rotate out, which is what I'm hoping. It's a big corporation. Maybe whoever's in charge over there will eventually rotate out and we can get a new person in there to make some new cool changes to shake things up. I think it's a good thing. I think it's always good to get in there and shake some things up every once in a while. Get somebody new with a different perspective that maybe plays games like this more often and plays this game a lot and has a love for games like this and really gets it without just looking at the analytics and the numbers and the spreadsheets and has played all those other games that profit super super well so is this a big deal not really it's not a big deal you can get these things i don't know if every day i'm going to force myself to do 150 if this was 300 total or 400 total Basically, if you could get it done within two weeks, that would be amazing. You get it done within, and this is like a lot of the other games do. A lot of the other games, if you are a pay to win or you're a hardcore player, you get it done much easier than a free to play, but they give free to play a lot of time to get it done as well. So free to play would have all this time to get it done. The limit would say be 400, 450. I would get it done in two weeks. And then a free to play person would get it done in three weeks and still have a few days left over. That is what all the other games out there do. They do it that way because it's friendly it doesn't irritate people. They don't have to micromanage so much as what we have time constraints, what we're always talking about fusions and everything else and micromanaging everything. It gets a little bit annoying and it makes it a lot, it just makes it enjoyable. It makes people say, hey, go play this game. It just makes it so we don't have all this negativity, right? There wouldn't be this video about me talking about 150 points when you can <laughs> get 300 from six story and whatever else you're gonna do here. It would be a video about, hey man, Guess what, guys? We got a cool event. Come in here, level up your champions. You can get it done within two weeks, fastest, slowest. You can get it done within, you know, 24 days and all your, then we can work out, you know, how many points you need to get per day. Hey, guys, you only have to do, 
you know, 150 points per day. You can knock out, you know, three days of this many points and then 10 days of this many points. We could do some fun things then and talk about how easy it would be for a free to play to get a complete or anybody else, which obviously this isn't going to be super hard to complete. I don't think as long as you stay on top of it and just manage your time wisely and you have things to level up. But just be mindful. It is only 150 a day and you need to do it every day. You can't miss a day. I wish you all. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's. I hope this game gets with it and we have a great new year with Raid Shadow Legends and things pick up. And I will see you all on a video soon.